With the second fire in a matter of months at Rhode Island Recycled Metals, the Attorney General is looking to shut down the company's operations. Peter Nerona filed a motion to do so late yesterday afternoon, telling us if the company cannot operate within the law, it should not operate at all. Joe Cortez is live in Providence this morning with those details. Joe. Good morning, Kate. This ongoing legal battle has spanned about nine years since 2015 between Rhode Island Recycled Metals and the state. Now, Peter Nerono filed that motion yesterday, and we should see both sides of representation inside of Providence Superior Court. Attorney General Peter Nerona is asking a judge to put the company in receivership. It's a state-level version of bankruptcy that would shut down the business. The legal battle dates back to before Nerona was even in office. It's tied to an ongoing case where state regulators have accused the company of failing to comply with environmental laws. There was a special master appointed, but Nerona said the strategy isn't working. In an interview with 12 News, Peter Nerona spoke about the balance between letting a business operate difficult work where accidents may happen, but said that's not what we're talking about in this situation. Batteries are burning or propane tanks are burning, or non-metallic things like rubber is burning, potentially, that's a hazard to people's health. And even if it wasn't, okay, no one should have to live in a neighborhood where the parcel, three parcels down or two parcels down, is on fire four times within a matter of a couple of years. After that fire Wednesday, a spokesperson for Rhode Island Recycled Metals told Target 12 that they fully expect to be open on Monday, but that could hinder their operations with this case coming in today. It's expected to happen around 11 o'clock. Stay with 12 News throughout the day. We'll keep you updated. Reporting live in Providence, Joe Cortez, 12 News.